All right, sweet. All right, thanks for coming again, everyone. Um, let's get started today in Supta Baddha Konasana. So for Supta Baddha Konasana, press the soles of your feet together to touch. Butterfly your knees out. You can pull your heels um, as close as you want to your body, or you can rest them a little farther out. Then recline all the way down to your back. You can place your hands wherever you'd like, maybe in a goal post overhead if that feels nice. Kind of opening through your chest a little bit. And place your arms down at your sides, either palms up or palms down. Maybe rest one hand over your heart, one over your belly. Find a comfortable position here. You can flutter your eyes closed or just soften your gaze. Begin to bring your awareness to your breath. Let's start with a nice breath together. Exhale out any air in your lungs. Now take a deep, full breath in through your nose. Feel your belly rise up. Open mouth, exhale, sigh out your air. Now take another deep breath in through your nose, filling all the way up as deep as you can. Then seal your lips at the top. Exhale back out your nose. Continue breathing here like this, in and out through your nose. With every inhale, draw your breath in, feel your belly and your lungs expand. And with each exhale, create an oceanic sound at the back of your throat. Feel the constriction there. Take just a couple more rounds of breath here on your own. Try to match the length of your inhales and your exhales as deep as you can on your inhale and as slow as you can on your exhale. Take one more deep breath in. One more deep breath out your nose. Place your palms on your outer thighs and close your knees up together. Grab from behind your thighs and rock and roll the length of your spine a few times, just massaging your back here. And when you get enough momentum, roll up to a seat, cross your ankles in front of you. Come to a nice tall seat, so straighten from, from your tailbone all the way through the crown of your head. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist to your right side. So place your left hand on your outer right thigh, and then twist. You can gaze to the side wall or toward the wall behind you, whatever your neck allows. Your next inhale, come back through center. Then exhale, twist the other direction toward your left. So right hand on your outer left thigh, left hand maybe on the ground behind you. Inhale, come back to center. Plant your palms down in front of you. Come to a tabletop position. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly down to the ground, lift your gaze to the wall in front of you. Exhale, cat pose, curl your spine up, gaze between your thighs. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly, expand through your collarbones. Exhale, cat pose, press the earth away, find space along the back of your spine. Now return to a neutral tabletop, flatten your spine, gaze between your palms, 
Inhale, tuck your toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. First down dog here. Feel free to bend into one knee, bend into the next. Feel the stretch along each calf and each hamstring. Spread your fingers out wide, then press your big knuckles down into the ground as hard as you can. Relieve some tension from your wrists. Inspire your triceps toward the wall behind you. So release your shoulders away from your ears when you do this. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, ragdoll pose. Step your feet behind your wrists at hip width distance or wider. Drape your torso over your thighs. Let your head hang heavy. Option to grab for opposite elbows, sway side to side. Drop your arms down to the ground. Toe your feet together to touch, leaving just a sliver of space between your heels. Inhale, slowly roll up to stand, stacking one vertebra on top of the next. No rush to get to the top when you do. You can flutter your eyes closed for a second or soften your gaze. Take a nice deep breath in. Deep breath back out your nose. Drop your arms down to your sides. Face your palms forward. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms up overhead. Firmly root down through all corners of your feet. Pull your kneecaps up, engage your quads. Spiral your pinkies inward toward one another so your palms are facing one another. Take one more breath in. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from your hips, dive down to the ground, option to bend your knees here. Inhale, halfway lift, press your palms to your shins or your thighs, flatten out your spine. Exhale, high plank, plant your palms, step your feet back. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, heels over your toes. Now dome the valley in between your shoulder blades, so press the ground away. Inhale, hinge two inches forward. Exhale, low plank, lower down halfway, pin your elbows into your sides. Inhale, upward facing dog, flip the tops of your toes, shine your chest forward. Exhale, downward facing dog, flip your toes, send your hips up and back. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward, fold, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, press your palms to your shins or thighs. Exhale, forward, fold, release down. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, samasthiti, hands together at heart center. Drop your arms down, inhale, mountain arms up. Exhale, forward, fold, dive down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, press your palms to your shins or thighs. Exhale, high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Remember, you can always take these on your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog, straighten through your arms, pull your thighs up. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips back. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward, fold, step to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your spine. Exhale, forward, fold, really stop. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up. Exhale, samasthiti, hands together at your heart. Drop your arms down, inhale, mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from your hips. Inhale, halfway lift, neutralize your spine. Exhale, high to low plank. Take whichever variation you choose. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your chest forward. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips back. Take a deep breath in here. Deep breath out your nose. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sit your hips low and reach your arms up. Breathe here for a moment. Sit as low as you can down on your hips and tuck your tailbone under to take the curve out of your low back. Take a breath in. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Sweep your arms back. Lift your pinkies up toward the ceiling and press your palms together to so squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, chair pose, reach your arms back up. Exhale, forward fold, dive down. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten out your spine. 
Exhale, low lunge. Step your left foot back. So your left foot steps back, frame your right foot with your palms, ground down through your left palm. Inhale, easy twist, reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Squeeze your inner thighs together, feel this stretch on your outer right hip, outer right IT band. Take a breath in. Exhale, low lunge, plant your right palm. Inhale, star pose, spiral open, heels in, toes out, create an X with your body. And then gently lean your heart up toward the ceiling for a gentle back bend here. Take one more breath in. Exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. So bend into your left knee and straighten your right leg. So you're facing the back of your space. So left, po left toes point toward your back wall and gaze over your back hand. Stack your left knee over your left ankle, then press as much weight down as you can into the knife edge of your right foot. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your left arm up and back, high five the wall with your palm, take a breath in. Exhale, low lunge, plant your palms to frame your foot. Good, so stack your knee over your ankle here. Now from here, inhale, star pose, spiral back open, create an X with your body. Exhale, warrior two, bend into your right knee, face the front of your space. Good, so gaze over your top hand, energetically reach your arms in opposite directions. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your right arm up and back, maintain the bend in your right knee. Exhale, high to low plank, cartwheel your arms down. Inhale, upward facing dog, flip to the tops of your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit your hips low, reach your arms up. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, sweep your arms back, press your palms together. Inhale, chair pose, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, shift your right foot back this time. So right foot goes back, left foot is forward. Ground down through your right palm. Inhale, easy twist, reach your left arm up toward the ceiling. Again, squeeze your inner thighs together, press really hard down into your left heel, take a breath in. Exhale, low lunge, plant your left palm. Inhale, star pose, spiral all the way open, heels in, toes out, create an X with your body. Now exhale, warrior two to the back of your space, bend into your right knee and gaze over your right hand. And press your weight to the outer edges of both feet, stack your shoulders over your hips. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your right arm up and back, maintain the bend in your right knee. Exhale, low lunge, plant your palms to frame your right foot. Good. So we take it back, inhale, star pose, spiral open, heels in, toes out. Exhale, warrior two to the front of your space, bend into your left knee. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your left arm up and back. Exhale, high to low plank, cartwheel your arms down, step your left leg back. Remember, you can always skip these high to low planks. Inhale, upward facing dog, straighten your arms. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back. This is our sun V. Let's flow through this linking breath to movement. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step to the top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten out your back. Exhale, forward fold, release down. Inhale, chair pose, sit your hips low, reach your arms up, pinkies inward. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, sweep your arms back, sit still really low in your hips. Inhale, chair pose, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, low lunge, step your left leg back. So left leg goes back, right leg, right leg forward. Ground out through your left palm, inhale, easy twist, reach your right arm up. Exhale, low lunge, plant your right palm. Inhale, star pose, spiral all the way open, heels in, toes out. Exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat, pivot your right foot in line with the short end of your mat and bend into your left knee. 
Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your left arm up and back. Exhale, low lunge, cartwheel your arms down to frame your left foot. Now we take it back, inhale, star pose, spiral open. Exhale, warrior two to the front of your space, bend into your right knee. Inhale, reverse warrior, right arm up and back. Exhale, high to low plank, cartwheel your arms down, step your right leg back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back. Inhale, gaze to your hands. Exhale, forward fold, step to the top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit your hips low, reach your arms up. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, sweep your arms back, lift your pinkies up as high as you can. Inhale, chair pose, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold, dive down. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot back this time. Right foot back, left foot is forward. Ground down through your right palm, inhale, easy twist, reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, low lunge, plant your left palm. Inhale, star pose, spiral open, heels in, toes out, create an X with your body. Exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat, bend into your right knee, straighten your back leg. Good, inhale, reverse warrior, reach your right palm up and back. Exhale, low lunge, cartwheel your arms to frame your right foot. Take it back, inhale, star pose, spiral all the way open. Exhale, warrior two, bend into your left knee. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your left palm up and back. Exhale, high to low plank, cartwheel your arms down and step your left leg back, flow through whichever variation you choose. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your heart forward. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips up and back. Take a deep breath in here. Deep breath out your nose. Inhale, shift forward to a high plank. So stay, stay in the static high plank here. Press the ground away as hard as you can. So press your shoulder blades up toward the ceiling and lower your hips in line with your shoulders. Always the option to drop down to your forearms here. We'll just hold this plank for a few more rounds of breath. Squeeze your belly button up into your spine as much as you can, activating your entire core. If you're down on your forearms, create an 11 with your arms. If you're up on your palms, spread your fingers really wide. Take one more breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, come down to a seat. So roll over um, onto your butt, take a seat. We'll do um, boat pose, we'll do three rounds. Uh, we did this last week, so we'll try it again today. So boat pose, I'll go through it really quickly. Um, a few options. First option for boat pose is to um, sit with your toes on the ground and lean your chest back and grab her behind your thighs. You can stay right here. Just make sure your chest is lifted toward the ceiling. Um, you, the second option for your legs is to just parallel them with the ground. Then you can reach your arms out to the sides. And here is to straighten your legs and then reach your arms parallel with your legs here. Just in all three options, make sure your heart is lifted instead of like, you don't want to crouch down. You want to stay lifted and really engage your low core. So we'll do three rounds of boat. Um, so we'll take about five, about five second rounds. Um, so you can choose whichever one you want. So um, yeah, if you wanna lean back and keep your toes down, you can totally do that. All right, so we'll start, ready, lift up. Here for five, for four, three, two, and one, lower down, cross your ankles, take a little break here. And then roll back, lean your chest back, lift your heart up, choose your second option. It can be same, it can be different. We're here for five, just for four, three, two, and one, lower down, cross your ankles. Last one here, choose whichever variation you'd like. 
Just five more seconds, lift up, keep your heart lifted, gaze up toward the ceiling, we're here for five, for four, just three, two, and one, cross your ankles, step back to a high plank. So from this high plank, shift forward and lower all the way down to your belly. And then reach your, um, bring your hands out in front of you and then stack your elbows underneath your shoulders and create an 11 with your arms. Take your hands and fold your hands toward your elbows, but keep your um, forearms planted on the ground. This action of kind of like pulling your hands toward your elbows here will pull your chest forward and stretch out your core. Just keep a nice neutral neck here. We'll stretch all along your front line. Take one more breath in, one more breath out. Lower back down to your belly, plant your palms underneath your shoulders, and then press all the way up to a high plank, and exhale downward facing dog, send your hips up and back. Drop down to your knees, touch your big toes together, spread your knees out to the width of your mat, sink your hips back to your heels, walk your arms forward. Take a quick rest here in child's pose. Rest your forehead down into the ground. Re-regulate your breath, so deep breaths in through your nose, deep breaths back out through your nose. Try to match the length of your inhales and your exhales. Take one more breath in, one more breath out. On your next inhale, rise up to a tabletop. Tuck your toes under and exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Now inhale, kick your right leg high. Flex your toes down to the ground and squeeze your right glute to lift your heel just a little bit higher. Take a breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right foot between your palms. Big transition here. Press as much weight down into your right heel as possible. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Rise all the way up. Lift your left leg in line with your hip. You can either reach your arms up overhead or hands at your hips. So in this one-legged mountain, press all of your weight down into your standing foot. Evenly distribute the weight through your foot. So through your, the ball mound of your foot, the knife edge of your foot, and your heel. Flex your left toes up toward your face. Take one more breath in here. Exhale, airplane pose. Gently, very slowly, hinge your torso forward and kick your left leg back behind you and airplane your arms out to the side. Lift your pinkies up toward the ceiling, just like we did earlier with chair pose with airplane arms. Same arms here. Triceps are engaged. Chest is open. Flex your left toes down to the ground and squeeze your left glute to lift your heel just a little bit higher in line with your torso. Take one more breath in here. Exhale, low lunge, slowly lower your left leg down to the ground and frame your right foot with your palms. Now inhale, star pose, spiral open, create an action with your body, heels and toes out. Now pivot your feet so your toes are pointing forward to the wall in front of you. So your feet are parallel to the short ends of your mat. Bring your arms out to a T, take a breath in. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Hinge from your hips all the way down for the ground. Now from here, you can either walk your feet in a little bit, walk them a little bit wider. Place your hands wherever you like. You can place them on the ground. You can grab for your ankles or your shins. Really whatever you like here, just let your head hang down. Pull your kneecaps up, so keep your quads active in this stretch here.
So if your hands are down on the ground, bring your hands to your hips. And then on an inhale, the flat spine rise all the way back up to stand. And then from here, inhale, star pose. Face your heels in, toes out. Take a nice little counter stretch here. And exhale, warrior two to the back of your space. Bend into your left knee. Straighten your right leg and gaze over your thumb. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach your left arm up and back. Exhale, low lunge, cartwheel your arms down to frame your left foot. Now from here, press all of your weight down into your left heel. Keep your hands on the ground and inhale, standing L. Reach your right leg up off of the ground and you can tip your fingers on the ground here. Flex your right toes down to the ground, ground down through your left foot, take a breath in. Exhale, forward fold, drop your right foot down next to your left foot. Good, inhale, halfway lift, flatten out your spine. Exhale, low lunge, step your left foot back, frame your right foot with your hands. Now inhale, star pose, spiral open, heels in, toes out. And exhale, horse pose. So keep your heels in and toes pointing out so your knees and your toes point in the same direction. Step your shoulders over your hips and sit nice and low down into your hips. So from here, you can stay here in horse. You can take little pulses if you wanna work on some leg strength. Um, if you'd like to stretch out a little bit more, you can place your hands on your inner thighs and take some shoulder dips, dipping one shoulder down. And then inhaling, coming to center. And on an exhale, dip your other shoulder down. So whatever you choose here. We'll meet back in a horse pose, hands together at heart center. Inhale, star pose, rise up. Exhale, warrior two to the front of your space, bend into your left knee, gaze over your front hand. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your left arm up and back. Exhale, high to low plank, cartwheel your arms down, step your left leg back, flow through a chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips up and back. Take a deep breath in here. Deep breath back out your nose. Inhale, keep your left leg high. Flex your left toes down to the ground. Even the weight between both palms. Take one more breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left foot between your hands. Now here's this big transition. Press all your weight down into your left foot. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Press all the way up. Lift your right knee in line with your right hip. Hands can either come to your waist or up overhead. Keep your left leg active by squeezing your left glute and pulling your left kneecap up. Flex your right toes up toward your face. Take one more breath in here. Exhale, airplane pose gently and slowly. Hinge your torso forward and down. Uh, airplane your arms out to the side here. Flex your right toes down to the ground. Squeeze your shoulder blades together to open through your chest. It's okay if you're feeling a little shaky in your standing leg. It's a difficult balancing posture. Take one more breath in. Exhale, low lunge, slowly drop down. Frame your left foot with your palms. Now inhale, star pose, spiral open. Create an X with your body. Now pivot your toes in front of you, so feet in line with the short edges of your mat. Inhale, puff up your chest. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Hinge from your hips down to the ground. So maybe in this wide-legged forward fold, you try something a little different than you did on the other side. Maybe you, maybe on the other side, you just kept your hands on the ground. Maybe this side, you try grabbing for your ankles or maybe your big toes. Kind of sink into this stretch here. Mm -hmm. 
Now if your hands are down, place your hands on your hips. And with a flat spine and engaged core, inhale, rise back up to stand. And then on an inhale, star pose, heels in, toes out. So pivot your feet. And exhale, warrior two to the back of your space. Bend into your right knee and straighten your left leg so you're facing the back of your space. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your right arm up and back, feel the stretch along your right side. Exhale, low lunge, carve your arms to the back of your space and bring your right foot. Now place all of your weight back into your right foot. Inhale, standing L. Watch up onto your front leg, lift your left leg up off of the ground, flex your left toes down, and tense your fingertips on the ground. Take one more breath in. Exhale, forward fold, drop your left foot down to meet your right. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten out your spine. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot back this time. So right foot goes back, left foot is forward. Inhale, star pose, spiral all the way open. Create an X with your body. And exhale, horse pose, sink your hips down. Keep your heels in and toes out. So on this side, we'll flow through um, star pose and down to horse a few times. So inhale, star pose, straighten your legs, arms up. Exhale, horse pose, sink a little bit deeper down into your horse. Inhale, star pose, arms up. Exhale, horse pose, sink back down. Last one, inhale, star pose, rise up. Exhale, horse pose, sink down. Inhale, star, rise up. Exhale, warrior two to the front of your space. So bend into your right knee, gaze over your top hand. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your right arm up and back. Exhale, high to low plank, cartwheel your arms down, step your left leg back. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your heart forward. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips up and back. Take a deep breath in, deep breath back out. Inhale, shift forward to a high plank. Now lower all the way down to your belly. From here, flip to the um, tops of your toes, so press the tops of your feet down into the ground. Place your palms on the ground by your low set of ribs and cricket your elbows up to the ceiling. Inhale, baby cobra, press the tops of your feet down, lift your chest gently off the ground. Little to no weight in your hands, so maybe your hands come up a little bit off the ground even. Take one more breath in, pinch your shoulder blades together. Exhale, slowly lower down. Lower one cheek down to the ground and extend your arms down by your sides. Take a little Belly down, Shavasana here. Return your chin to center. Keep your arms down by your sides and the um, tops of your feet down to the ground. So we're gonna move into locust. So for locust, both our arms and our legs lift. So your arms are down by your sides, pinkies will lift up toward the ceiling just like those airplane arms that we've been doing. All right, ready, inhale, locust, lift your legs, lift your arms, fly your arms up toward the ceiling, squeeze your shoulder blades together, squeeze your entire back line to lift up a little higher. Exhale slowly with control, lower back down, lower your opposite cheek down to the ground. Another little belly down Shavasana here. Return your chin to center. Press your palms underneath your shoulders and press all the way up to a high plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. Draw your right knee toward your right wrist and plant your, um, plant your shin down on the ground. 
It's okay if your shin and your calf isn't totally parallel with the top of your mat, but just make sure you flex your right toes toward the wall in front of you so your ankle is bent. You can stay upright like this. If you'd like, you can fall down into sleeping pigeon, which is just hinging your torso down to the ground and then grounding your forehead either on your hand or on the floor or your mat, rather. So wherever you choose, even the weight between your hips, release any tension from your hips. It can be a bit of an uncomfortable position to some people, but use your breath to allow yourself to relax. Press your palms down into the ground. Press yourself up to an active pigeon. Tuck your back toes under. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg to meet your left. You can take a little counter stretch here if you'd like, just bending your right knee and opening up your right hip if that feels nice. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon on the left. Draw your left knee towards your left wrist, your left ankle toward your right wrist. Plant your shin on the ground. Flex your left toes toward the wall in front of you. You can stay upright here if you choose. Make sure your right leg is extended straight back behind you. Always the option to fall down to sleeping pigeon. You're just hinging your torso down, resting your forehead on either your hand or your mat. Press your palms back down into the ground. Come up to an active pigeon. Tuck your back toes under. And exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg to meet your right. Option again for a counter stretch on this side. Maybe bend your left knee. Open up your hip. And we'll meet in a downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, come down to a seat. Roll over, or, um, come over onto your butt, extend your legs out in front of you. Um, actually extend your left leg out in front of you, place the sole of your right foot on your inner left thigh, and then pivot your torso so it's um, lining up with your extended left leg. Take a breath in. And exhale, one-legged seated forward fold, grab for whatever is accessible here, whether that be your shin or your foot, the top of your foot. Square your shoulders down toward your left leg. So if your left shoulder is coming up toward the ceiling, maybe grab for your calf instead and then pull your shoulders in line with one another. Your next inhale, rise back up. Switch out your sides. Extend your right leg long and press the sole of your left foot on your inner right thigh. Now, once again, pivot your body so it's, pivot your torso so it's lining up with your right leg. Take a breath in. And exhale, fold forward, grabbing for whatever you can here. Feel the stretch along your right hamstring. Your both sit bones are grounded, so if your left sit bone is coming up, press it back down to the ground. Now rise back up, press the soles of your feet together to touch for um, Baddha Konasana. You can keep your heels out in front of your body. Um, if you're a little more flexible in your hips, then you can pull your heels a little closer toward your body. 
Um, and then from here, you can grab for your feet. You can stay up right here if this is enough for, of a stretch for you. If you'd like some more, begin to fold forward, uh, drawing your head down kind of toward your toes or toward the ground. Good, fold it forward, rise back up. Pull your knees back up to center and recline all the way down to your back. From here, pull your knees up into your chest. Wrap your forearms around your shins and roll into one tiny little ball. Lift your forehead up to your knees, squeeze every muscle to every bone. Take one more breath in. And exhale, Shavasana, let your arms and legs go long. Find a comfortable position here. Take whatever shape is comfortable to you. It doesn't necessarily have to be down on your back. So that your body melts into the ground. Release any tension from any muscle in your body. Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. And relax the muscles in your forehead. Just enjoy a few minutes of rest here. Stay here resting for as long as you'd like. If you'd like to be guided out, begin to bring some life back to your fingers and back to your toes. Roll out your ankles, roll out your wrists. Take a nice long body stretch, reach your arms up. Point your toes. Draw your knees in toward your chest and roll onto either your right or left side using your bicep as a pillow for fetal pose. Press yourself up to a tall seat. 
It's a nice comfortable seat, however you like. You can place your hands on your knees and your lap at heart center. Either flutter your eyes closed or soften your gaze to the tip of your nose. Let's finish with a breath. Exhale out any air in your lungs. Now take a deep, full breath in through your nose. Fill all the way up. Feel your lungs expand. Then hold your breath in at the top. Open mouth, exhale, sigh out your air. Lift your thumbs to your third eye center, the space between your eyebrows and your forehead. The light in me honors and sees the light in all of you. Bow forward. Namaste. Namaste.